కస్టమ్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ప్రాసెసర్ వి నో అబౌట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ప్రాసెసర్ క్లాస్ రైట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ప్రాసెసర్ క్లాస్ ఇస్ ఏ హెల్పర్ క్లాస్ ఫర్ యాక్షన్ సర్లైట్ క్లాస్ సో హూ విల్ ప్రాసెస్ యాక్చువల్ వ్యాలిడేషన్స్ అండ్ డిస్కంట్రోలర్ ఆపరేషన్స్ బై రిక్వెస్ట్ ప్రాసెసర్ ఓన్లీ దట్ కంప్లీట్ ప్రాసెస్ ఇంటర్నల్ ఇట్స్ విల్ గో ఆన్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ సబ్మిట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ సబ్మిట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ యాక్చువల్ రిక్వెస్ట్ టు ప్రాసెసర్ ఆపరేషన్స్ ఆర్ వాట్ వెన్ యూ సబ్మిట్ ఎ ఇన్పుట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ దట్ ఇన్పుట్ రిక్వెస్ట్ విల్ గో టు ఆల్వేస్ యాక్షన్ సర్లెట్ then this action servlet will send the same request to request to processor class this request to processor internal operations are what request to processor in this request to processor there is one init method request to processor init method so whenever it's create object for request to processor whatever the module config it have along with it module config object in module config object what it will store your struts config.xml file information this struts config.xml file information in the form of module config object it will pass to request to processor object request to processor also need to aware about your struts xml file data right so the same data object it will send to your request to processor init method then here we have multiple methods this init method will execute at the time of creating request to processor object request to processor object is singleton right only at first user request it will create from the next request onwards the same object it will use so at the time of first request it will create object for request to processor and this module config object it will supply into your request to processor init method later when user submits his request always this user request will call process method of action servlet this process method will call process method of request to processor it will call process method of request to processor this process method first it will call a method process pre process method process pre process method it will call this process pre process method return type is boolean so always this process pre process method by default it will return true to this process method if it return true then what it will do it will call one more one more method process locale method process locale method what it will do we know right process locale method it will read our browser language and it will store into session scope so that operation it will execute for each session only one time so in case if you want to override we need to send our request in the i mean in request scope only we need to override this process locale input parameters internally process locale will store your language into session scope session dot set attribute of set attribute of org dot apache dot struts dot okay action dot by using locale name it will store our language value right new locale of like telugu language or hindi values it will store here our language values it will store here then there we have one more method process validation process validation okay process action classes process action class so many process methods we have so these all process methods will execute after which method process pre process method if this process pre process method if it return true then only it will send next request to the remaining methods or else from here itself it will reject it so in case if you want to write custom request to processor the recommended method to override in custom request to processor is process pre process method in that process pre process method if you want to write any security operations you can write here if you want to write any security operations you can write to write custom request to processor you need to extend your class from request to processor so you can extend your required custom request to processor from request to processor my custom request to processor my request to processor extend it from actual request to processor class in this class you can override you can override this process pre process method in that process pre process method you can write any security kind of things security related things you can write here process pre process there is one method process pre process with request and response in this process pre process method you can apply security here if security if security if it is fine if it is fine return true from here or return true from here if security false else return false from here if you return true then only the remaining flow it will execute but if you return false the next flow it will not execute it will send a blank page means it will not perform any actions whenever you call process method the pro this process method first it will call process pre process method if it return true then only it will execute the remaining process or else it will reject it will reject your request so in your custom request to processor you can write security operations where exactly that custom request to processor we need to configure 
in our struts xml file in between struts config and struts config there is one controller tag using that controller tag you can configure your custom request to process here we have one controller tag controller processor class the processor class name you can configure here my request to processor my request to processor in this way you can configure your custom request to processor just when we should write custom request processor in case if you want to execute any pre operations this method will execute before processing your operation so if you have any pre operations that pre operations you can write here pre operations are like if you want to execute security or if you want to execute pre logging such kind of things you can implement here or validations if you want to execute here okay any kind of validations you can write them here okay so any pre operations you can write under process pre process method after the execution of this process pre process method only the remaining complete process will execute okay the first method will execute by your process method is process pre process method so for security implementations we can use this okay you can see this example <coughs> using custom request to processor dynamic web project my custom request to processor add struts dependencies here keep one web.xml file with actions are let as a front controller configure web.xml file here with actions are let front controller yeah <coughs> then create your input form new jsp page index.jsp okay and create here one form using tag library or else plain form plain html form just i'll go through simple plain html form form action let's say if you have simple login login dot do and form input parameters username password username input type text parameter name u name and one more text box input type password name password or p word okay and one login button input type submit value login okay from this login form whenever i submit request just i want to forward to a controller class just i forward to a controller class just i forward to controller class the controller name is login success controller this controller is login success controller means already if it success then only it need to go to login success controller so ex uh, extend this login success controller by using action class from here just override execute method in case if you want to do any session tracking read your input parameter string username request to dot get parameter of u name password so keep this username password if you required any session tracking create http session session equal to request to dot get session now keep session dot set attribute of username
and password finally return a success page from here return a success page the return mapping dot find forward of success okay now just i want to write a custom request to processor here just for applying security to check username and password just i required a custom request to processor here write a custom request to processor security or login checking login checking request to processor extend this request to processor from default request to processor default request to processor extend it from request to processor now here in this request to processor you can see methods we have init method <coughs> you should not overwrite this init method input parameters are actions are and module config so this init method will execute along with your object creation of after this class object creation it will execute init methods but that methods you should not override okay you better to override process <coughs> pre-process method process pre-process method here you can write security kind of things read username password <coughs> check that username password username dot equals admin or not double end password dot equals something admin 1 2 3 or not if it is not like if it is username equal to admin password equal to admin 1 2 3 return here true else you can return false okay now it will check security i mean it will check here whether that username is admin or not password is admin 1 2 3 or not it will check if not it will return false if it return false the remaining flow it will not execute means your action class will not execute okay so action class finally returning what success right now configure here configure here in struts xml file action mappings actually my action is what under action mappings action is slash login so that login action need to go to which controller controller dot login success controller so this login success controller finally forwarding what success for that success we need to forward something success dot jsp page but before going to that success page means success controller it need to check login login under your controller class which controller request to processor class controller processor class your processor class name should configure here controller dot your custom request to processor login checking request to processor this login checking request to processor it will check our username password if it is valid then only it will process the remaining controller operations or else it will reject from there itself okay finally create a success page Access dot JSP. Like here, I want to display something like compose kind of things. Input type button value compose text like inbox.
compose some inbox send items okay dropbox label one label two okay and here one simple logout hyperlink h reference index.jsp page something logout and here if you want to print that username by using session you can get input parameters right session dot get attribute get attribute of you name that username if you want to print you can print here okay now deploy and test it go to controller class here just i'll write one debug statement system dot out dot print ln request to processor okay go to controller class right here one debug statement action class now run this application So our page is input page is index dot jsp page. Okay, here is our input page. Username, password. So here, if I enter something ABC, ABC eight, one two three. Login. It is forwarding one blank page to us. If you see here internally, which class executing? Request to processor class. Process pre-process method executing. So if I send a valid username password, valid username admin, valid password admin one two three. If I submit, finally going to success page. Finally forwarding to success page, and here it is executing. Our action class also. Okay, if I pass again empty username password, sending a blank page means request to process process pre-process method checking whether that username is fine or not. If it is not fine, then it will send blank page. If your username and password if it is fine, then it will go to actual success page. Okay, so request to process process pre-process method for every request it will execute. Again, once again, if you submit any request. For every request, see here. While processing every request, first time it will execute process pre-process method. So let's say if you have hundred use cases, for that hundred use cases, same username password if you want to checking. Like after doing logging, also we need to check for every request username password. He is he is doing any URL rewriting or not? We need to check. Okay. So every time your session input parameters, you need to check whether username is password correct or not. If you want to check. So the checking operations you can write from process pre-process method. While processing every request, it will execute it before processing request. Okay. So any pre-process operations, if you want to execute before your controller operations, you can write that operations from process pre-process method of request to processor by writing your custom request to processor class. Okay. <coughs> And you should configure that custom request to processor class by using a controller. Okay.